Yeah. By the fact that you're asking me if I think her shadow is strange. I didn't necessarily think it was strange. She was just polar opposite and she was a freak. That's what we learned about her. <laughs> That's it. It's the only way to, to summarize it. Um, but that's by you saying that, it makes me assume that there's some other people that are going to have some ridiculously strange personas. So, I'm looking forward to it. The strange is always entertaining to me. I'm gonna go hang out with Chie since this is only at a one. Because uh -uh. I think it told me last time I talked to her that I thought we were gonna get closer quickly. <laughs> Nothing compared to upcoming events? Then I definitely, definitely look forward to it. Because I laughed my ass off when Yukiko Shadow came out on the game show looking for her hot stud. With her lacy unmentionables on. Yo! Yay! We're gonna go hang out with GA. She's gonna kick me in the balls, isn't she? <laughs> Try practicing at home. But my mom and dad yelled at me for putting a hole in the shoji. I'm sure I butchered pronouncing that. <laughs> Still, now's the time to train, right? I'm just gonna agree. Yeah. You think so too? Jay looks really happy. So, let's train together. Okay, let me get my sword out. No? I'm cool with it. Alright! That thing. You know from the time? I mean the shadow that came out of me. I feel pathetic knowing that's another me. Makes me feel like I gotta work harder. All right, let's do it. Between you and me, we'll be unstoppable. Marks the beginning of your training with Chie. But your relationship with Chie has grown a bit deeper. Get that social link up. <clears throat> Chie Sadanaka social rink. Social rink has reached Revel Rue. power to create personas of the cherry Arcana has grown. Chia's growth of heart has affected her persona as well. Ah! Well, they learn skills from actually growing the social links as well. That's pretty damn important. Let's start today with frog leaves. Oh god. Later. This should be able to up my, some stats, like my strength stat, too. And my endurance stat. Welcome back. Hey, Dojima. You got anything to say today? Hey. How are things? You should be used to life to here by now. <laughs> You're bored? Well, have a seat. Hmm. Do you want Chia's green jacket? It would not surprise me that if you looked online, there's somebody like on Etsy or something like that that's made it and sold it before. We haven't had time to talk like this since you got here, huh? Tojima is desperately casting about for a topic to discuss. Tojima has poor social skills. Uh, well, how's school? It's fun. 
I see. see. That's good to hear. Cool days will be over before you know it. Be sure to have fun while you can. Nodding to himself. <laughs> what else? Oh yeah, how about your friends? Looks like you've made plenty of them. Scowling. Not saying who you can and can't hang out with, but you know what I'm talking about, right? You want to use an Agi plushie? That would be pretty cool. I don't have enough courage. Huh. So you did notice. <laughs> For some reason, wherever there's an incident, there you are. Wish I didn't have to consider this, but the killings began around the time you came to town. Kojima. Calm down. My job is all about eliminating the random element. I look only at the facts. If you keep getting caught up in my job, then... What's wrong? Big bro didn't do anything bad. I know, I didn't mean it like that. But... But you're bullying him. Not bullying him. We're just having a little talk. Getting late. Go to sleep. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Sheesh. She's really taking a shine to you. Look. Just don't get yourself involved in anything dangerous. I haven't seen the P3 protagonist persona yet. Um, I've got P3, but I hadn't played it before. Picked it up actually after I got golden here. Look, just don't get yourself involved in anything dangerous. As long as you're safe, everything's fine. Parents didn't ask me to raise your grades or anything. Seems Gojima is genuinely worried about you. That's the one I picked up is P3 FES. I'll, I'm definitely going to play it on stream. Probably not immediately after I put, finish Persona 4. Probably play something a little bit different after this. And then come back to it. But it's one I definitely will be playing on stream. I got that Dojima social link. Yes! the Ryotaro Dojima social link of the Hierophant Arcana. Things here might be a little different from what you're used to, but this is a good town. Though, it's a little dangerous right at the moment. Now then, it's about time for you to turn in. Get some sleep. Night. Uh oh, it's raining. It's pouring. The old man is snoring. You overhear students talking. All this rain. I hate rain. It's supposed to keep raining until this evening, too. Hey, there's Zero. <clears throat> FES was definitely the better of the two. Good. Means I'm happy I picked it up rather than portable. <laughs> Speaking of misery, midterms start next Monday. They even post the results up for everyone to see. 
Eh, don't worry about it. Your life isn't going to be ruined by one little piece of paper, is it? There you go, vampire. What? How can you possibly believe that? What is this a link of? Ooh, that is pretty badass looking. That's really badass looking. Getting good grades has benefits when interacting with people. Talented people really are more highly valued in society, aren't they? <clears throat> Mr. Hosoi, have you picked up the latest edition of Bully Teacher yet? <laughs> of course I did, but it's raining today. I hope I can get it home without getting it all wet. He looks better than he actually was. Why well, is that oftentimes the case? <laughs> so, uh, does anyone have an extra book cover they'd be kind enough to lend me? Uh, whoops. I have to start the lecture. Don't try to distract me by talking about books. Today we're going to discuss Kokoro, Soseki Natsume. Open your textbooks. Before we get all the actual literature, I'll ask a question about S Soseki himself. I'm sure I'm butchering that name. Hmm. How about Skibin Chan, the city boy? Oh god, no. Another qu- I don't know anything about Japanese literature. Do you know how Soseki Natsume translated the English phrase I love you into Japanese? Oh god. I have absolutely no clue. Like none, guys. So, yeah. This isn't the type of backseating that's going to spoil anything. And, like I say in my little backseating rule, I don't mind backseating as long as you don't spoil content. Because um, <laughs> I have no clue. I don't know anything about Japanese literature. The moon is, he translated I love you into the moon is beautiful, isn't it? I don't understand that, but then again, I don't understand the differences in English and Japanese phrasing. And I know how you know how some languages have terms that other languages they just don't have an equivalent for. Or he was just being artsy. He's probably just being artsy. <laughs> Ah, you're very knowledgeable. Hey, Celestial. How you doing this evening? It's good to see you back again. Ah, you're very knowledgeable. Yep, he translated it as, The moon is beautiful, isn't it? By the way, the person who translated it as, I could die, was Shime Furubare, another prominent Miji-era writer. He translated it from Russian, not English. It's still similar in that they didn't do direct translations. Back then in Japan, there wasn't the same direct expression of love that we have now, so they had to get creative. It's a subtle, endearing translation, much like the Japanese language itself. Anyway, let's get back into Kokoro. I gave the correct answer. I might end up half smart after all. <coughs> he 
hear thunder rumbling. Hey, Chie. I bought you a new copy of that Trial of the Dragon flick. It was the greatest punches version for 980 yen. If I knew then, I'd just replaced it instead of buying you grilled steak. <laughs> you this got played your skate again. Closer. Huh? What are you, scared of a little lightning? Quiet, you! I'd be a goner if even one of those things hit me. Uh-oh. Jay, scared of lightning? Go into TV world and fight crazy persona monsters, but you're afraid of ah! lightning. <laughs> you're freaking out way too much. Come on, shouldn't weather like this help with your kung fu training? Yeah, you, you see a bolt of lightning would hit and it'd give you the inspiration for a new move. There was a scene like that in your DVD, wasn't there? You jerk! You don't even care how I feel! <laughs> Yosuke's just getting a little payback. If lightning has to strike someone, let it be this guy! <gasps> there went the power. Huh? Is this a blackout? That's what you get for saying that stuff, Chie. Looks like I better hurry up and head to work. Depending on how produce sells today, I might get a little bonus in my pay for the week. I need to get a job. This weather may keep Keldon kept telling me to get a job at the hospital, I gotta do so my I guess best that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna save up for a motorcycle. Yeah, actually, the, the truth about it is, is lightning is Yosuke's weakness, not Chie's. Chie's weakness is fire, but she's scared of lightning. That's funny. It's from my manager. Hello? Uh, Yosuke-kun? Hmm. Uh, some of the power in the store is out after that lightning strike. C could you come in early today? All the refrigerated shelves have stopped running. It's looking like we'll have to close up the produce section early today. Wait, what? But my pay! Anyway, I need you here to help deal with this mess. I'm counting on you. Goodbye. Oh, you having a little buffering going on, Celestial? I'm not dropping any frames, so I think things are okay on my end. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just Twitch today. Hopefully it doesn't keep up for you. Wait. I'm feeling all right today. Um, still real... My inside of my nose and throat and everything's real raw and whatnot. I'm still having nausea this morning. I took off work again today. So I took this entire week off work because uh, of that surgery. And I really intended only to take off through Wednesday. But the nausea was killing me. And I called the doctor again. And they switched up my... They think it's the antibiotics. So they switched up my antibiotics. Taking a new one now. And I haven't taken that stuff since last night. And feel a lot better. <laughs> So I think I've been sick all week because of bad antibiotics. They're not bad antibiotics, but they didn't agree with me. Uh, why did this have to happen? Hey, Yukiko, can we just go home? Chie, do you know this story? A girl forgot her homework, so she snuck into school in the middle of the night, but she suddenly needed to use the bathroom. She ventured into the girls' room where all the lights were off. No one should have been there, but in the mirror... Hold it right there! What are you talking about?! Huh? It's a ghost story. I thought you liked them. <laughs> yeah, but why tell it now?! Because you're so freaked out, that's why. It's hilarious. She's on the verge of tears. What should you do? Oh, God. Oh, God. Yukiko is trolling her hard. And I'm really tempted to troll her, too. Tell, either tell another ghost story or, like, lightly. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm probably going to get hit for this. Here. It touched me! It's, it's a ghost! <laughs> Wait, was that you? Sheesh! You suck! <sighs> Why 
don't you just have him escort you back home, Chie? Uh, are you making fun of me? Well, yeah, with how freaked out you are, can you blame me? <laughs> oh, the power's back! Come on, Yukiko, let's go home! <laughs> Chie and Yukiko leave in a hurry. There's probably a better dialogue option. No choice but to wait for another rainy night. Touch the buttons on the right to view the TV listings. Whoa. Wait, where'd it go? What happened? Why did it go away? I wanted to look at whatever. It was. Oh, there we go. Okay. What's the weather report? Tomorrow. be added as you play through them. Uh, this is like just like side like extra bonus content stuff like that. I guess. Like none of them watching any of this stuff does anything like with your social links or anything does it? Or not social links but like ups your stats or ooh, it was arts and education. She is pretty, pretty hilarious. Um, the only thing is, I had originally started playing Persona 4 on the playing the PS2 version, <clears throat> not Golden. And a lot of the voice actors, or not a lot, but some of the voice actors are different between P the, the original Persona 4 and Golden. And I have to say, Chi's character is the same personality-wise, but I thought the voice actor in the little bit that I had played of the original Persona 4 for Chie was better than uh, the new one. The new one reminds me of Tipo from Tales of Zillia. And I, I'm, not the, I'm not the biggest Tipo fan. Just, I gotta be honest about that. But I like her character anyway. I wonder why they changed it. I wonder if they just couldn't hire the because I guess they did the, all the redubbing of voices and the, or re-recorded the voiceovers whenever they did the anime that follows along with the game. That's what I assume at least. <clears throat> what are you doing? You know about the Midnight Channel? Yeah, I know about all this stuff. Yeah, New Teddy's voice is good. Um, Ochie's voice was definitely much better than Nuche's voice. I don't have the hospital option. Not yet. I want to go see if there's anything to do with the, the fox. I'll try to not refer to the fox like that in the future.
You made sure there was no one around, and you called for the fox. Okay. Fox brought you an animal with a wish on it. It's in those written and rounded characters. Probably a young girl's handwriting. I want things to go well with the person I like. Seems the fox wants you to fulfill the wish written on the ammo on its behalf. Could it be thinking that if wishes are fulfilled, then more money will be put into the offer toy box? If you fulfill the wish on the ammo, your relationship with the fox may grow stronger. Ah, so they're just quests I accept. I guess they're not going to burn up my afternoon. That's awesome. There was one change in P4U that bothered you a lot of Emu. I guess you're keeping it quiet because it probably would be spoilerish to bring up. But feel free to share once we get to that point. I'm interested because it keeps every time it's come here and it's been this food help me raise several characteristics let's do it let's eat this big beefy bowl we can finish the whole thing and we eat it for free still can't see the rice You begin to suspect that your bowl is a portal to the meat dimension. The amount of meat contained within the bowl is truly staggering. In order to finish the bowl, you must have understanding of your limits and knowledge to control your pace. Courage to face the unrelenting tide of beef. <laughs> that could be taken a number of ways. Um, forget I said that. In the diligence to preserve against this colossal challenge. All these traits are necessary to master the rainy day special mega beef bowl challenge. You are unable to finish your meal in your current state. You tried your best to finish the rainy day mega beef bowl challenge and your personality has grown tremendously. Your understanding has increased. Your understanding has changed from basic to kindly. Knowledge has increased. Courage has increased. Ah, too bad, mister. That'll be 3,000 yen. Ah, I heard about you from my daughter. So you're a transfer student. My daughter said you were cool. Her name is Aika. Unfortunately, she's out right now on a delivery. Son of Five is coming to PlayStation only. That's good, because I've got a PS4, and I'm definitely pre-ordering that one. After finishing your meal, you went home. Welcome home! It stopped raining, but the thunder was loud. Were you scared, big bro? No. Nothing catches my eye. Um. Yeah? Nanaka looks as if she's not doing anything. You're not watching the TV for once? Wow. I feel your relationship with Nanako isn't ready to advance yet. Do you spend the evening with Nanako? a bit sad. I kind of want to do that, but at the same time, I feel like I need to study more. 
Maybe I'll do a double study session. Tomorrow. Sunday. Yeah, I'm gonna spend time in Nautica. Yeah! Okay, yay. It's been a precious moment with Nautica. I feel your relationship is going to become closer soon. Today's Sunday, so you don't have to go to school. You wonder when it'll rain at night again. First term, midterm, start tomorrow. What should you do today? Oh, hello? It's me, Chie. Mind hanging out with me for a while? I need to get my mind off studying for a bit. I need to get my mind on studying for a bit. Hmm. Must. Knowledge level is only rank informed, if I remember correctly. Decisions. I hate having to make decisions. <laughs> oh, look. That is that a Persona Three poster on the wall in the room? It looks that looks like the right shape of the three text for it to be a Persona Three poster. That's funny. Ah, GA. If I make a bad grade, it's your fault. Hopefully I can still get a nighttime study session on. How are we doing? A training session? All right. She is enthusiastic today as well. Uh oh, it's Nanako. Huh? Yo! Oh, Nanako chan. What are you doing? Hmm? Training, of course. Mm. Training? What are you fighting with, Chie? Hmm. <laughs> Myself, I guess. <laughs> Just kidding. Wow, cool. You think? <laughs> oh, grasshopper. Huh? No, no way. Where? It just landed on your back. <coughs> oh, God. Gee, he's afraid of bugs, too. Get it off. Get it off me. Nanako took the grasshopper off Chia's bag. You don't like grasshoppers? I'm no good with anything with thin jointed legs. Or anything creepy or squirmy. Back. Now I can't get them out of my mind. I can't stand those things. But they're cute. You're like Yukiko. Oh, see, because Yukiko's fine around bugs. Me, I totally lose it. Kind of funny, huh? Hilarious. <laughs> Doesn't really fit my image, does it? A lot of kids in my class don't like bugs. It's not just you. Don't worry. <laughs> huh. You don't know how happy that makes me. Thanks. Come on, you want to train too? Yeah. Okay. Let's start with form. I'll teach you a kata. Chie and Nanako began training. I sent Nanako home before it got dark. I'm gonna get over my fear of bugs. I don't want to look like a sissy next to Nanako-chan. All I have to do is think of them shadows. Then I'll be able to grab a whole fistful. I, I just gave myself goofballs. 
Getting used to bugs might take take a while, but I won't lose to shadows. I felt Chie's burning passion. You feel your relationship with Chie has grown yet deeper. Nice. The Chie Satanaka Social Link has reached level three. The power to create personas of the Chariot Arcana has grown. Chie's determination in battle has been enhanced. Chie now can perform a follow-up attack during battle. When you knock down an enemy in battle, your ally will sometimes follow up. Yeah, I've seen that a few times. Waifu number one is a quarter of the way through. <laughs> Can you waifu everybody? I want to waifu everybody. Except for Nanaka Chan. Mm. That, that's, I don't want to, that's wrong. Hmm. Nanaka seems to be lost in thought. Waifu number one is Rise. I don't think I've met Rise yet. Chie's burning passion. <laughs> Ask what's wrong. Um, well. Nanako fidgets. I made flowers at school yesterday. They said today is Mother's Day. My teacher told us that's a day when you give your mom flowers. I don't think it would be appropriate to tell Nanako about burning passion. <laughs> I don't have a mom, so I don't know what to do with these flowers. And this is sad. You can give them to her. Huh? Oh, you mean the family altar? Dad always puts food there. He said it gets to Mom in heaven. Do you think my flowers will get to her too? Yeah, give them to me. I don't think that was a good, would be a good option. I did a really good <laughs> job on mine. My teacher said they were pretty too. I wonder if my mom will be happy to get them. Nanako seems happy. You should make a flower too, big bro. Then we can celebrate Mother's Day together. Oh god, but this is going to take up my evening and I won't study. Nanako taught me how to make an origami flower. Place the finished flower on the family altar. It's getting late, so you put Nana to go to bed and head back to your room. Please let me study. Oh god, thank god. Button on the midnight channel. We're a week away. Those expert study method methods kicking in. I better be smart enough. I'm kind of worried. First midterms begin today and continue through Thursday. You should hurry to school. Mm. Morning. Exams are finally starting today. Real life's harsh. 
Have you studied for them? Can't you tell? Do I look like I'm ready? Even once exams are over, we're not done with the case. Am I going to have to, like, answer these questions myself, Emu? I was hoping I'd just have my knowledge skill high and, like, do great on the tests. They're going to ask me more questions about Japanese literature that I can't answer. Oh, God. All this depressing stuff's just going to keep going on and on and on. Midterms, day one. Oh, God, it's the questions they already asked. I think it was overcompensation. If I remember correctly, because I think it... Crap. I'm pretty sure it's not overgrowth, because I selected that. I think that's the one I selected, and I got it wrong. Overcompensation. I feel you've chosen the correct answer. I remember this one. I feel you've chosen the correct answer. Okay. Midterms, day two. Shit, these types of numbers does not exist. Crap. It was marriageable. You translated I love you as the beautiful moon, isn't it? Seki Natsume? That's the one y'all helped me answer, too. Like, we just saw it earlier, and I'm... I'm thinking it was... Natsume. That one seems completely unfamiliar. I'm going with Natsume. I feel you've chosen the correct answer. Is it telling me I'm getting them right when it's saying I feel that I've chosen the right ones? Or is it playing with my emotions? Midterms, day three. Yeah. I don't have any added delay to my stream, like in my setup, but there's a good bit of delay anyway. I got an email from Twitch here recently about some new feature to reduce the amount of delay, but I don't know. I haven't looked into implementing that or anything. Who said as soon as laws are necessary for men, they are no longer fit for freedom? Was it Pythagoras? Why does it... Does Pythagoras seem right? I feel like I would have... If they would have mentioned Nietzsche... Nietzsche earlier... I would have remembered Nietzsche being mentioned. Oh god, my throat is starting to really get raw. Yeah. It, I wish somebody would go over there and slap him and... Stop thinking, you asshole, King Moron 2015. Uh, we're going to go with Pythagoras. Phil has chosen the correct answer. Okay. Which of the following is the highest mountain in the solar system? I think it was Olympus, Mom.
We're going with Olympus Mines. Feel I've chosen the correct answer. Good deal. It'd be awesome if I ace my exams. This is the last day of exams. Thank God. You were familiar with every question. You feel confident about your answers. Oh, I don't have to answer anything today. Okay. It's finally over. So how did I do? I want 100 A plus, damn it. Ooh, what a load off. I bet every student feels like this after exams are over. Hey, quiet down. So what did you write for number seven? The one about what that referred to in the sentence? Yeah, I won't get to know for a few days. What that referred to in the... Um, I put her sorrowful expression. Oh, crap. Then I got it wrong. I put the rice cakes on top of the table. <laughs> rice cakes? Wait, was that what the story was about? All right. I'm giving up on composition. I'm going to bet it all on geography. <laughs> what did you choose for the tallest mountain in the solar system? Ah, seriously? I chose the wrong one. Oh, I put that one too. Whoa, you too? And it's probably the right answer. <sighs> Boy, I can't wait for our grades to be posted out in the hall where everyone can see them. Jeez. Hey, did you hear? A TV station's filming here in town. They're probably just doing more stuff about that hanging corpse case. No, it's not that. You know the highway nearby? They're gonna cover those biker gangs that hang around there. A friend of mine goes to the biker meeting sometimes. I heard it from him. Dude, what are you doing hanging out with a guy in a biker gang? Well, anyways, what do you think about tomorrow's group blind date? We were gonna meet outside, but it's gonna rain soon, right? Won't it be better to play it safe tomorrow, too? Biker gang? Oh, yeah. They raise a ruckus from time to time. I guess your place is too far away to hear them. I want to join a biker gang. We live gang. right by the road. The noise can drive you insane. <laughs> it just seems fun. I hear some guys at this school are part of it, too. Yeah. I know there are some rumors about a first-year student here who's a total hellraiser. One of the guys working at Jeunesse said the dude's been a legend ever since middle school. Although, was he in a biker gang? Did... did you say he was a legend? Oh, Yukiko's getting all... interdasted in this guy. Uh, it's not what you think, Yukiko. She thinks that the... The first year guy might be, might be her prince, her hot stud, to come rescue her from the castle. It's Thursday, so... Mama and sports, and I could go hang out with Yosuke. Or I could go hang out with Chie. Uh, well, I just like to sit up here. You can see the open sky. It feels good, doesn't it? The waifu is always more important than brosuke. 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 <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, where's the dude? He wanted to... Usually there, wondering. I know you want the angel statue. I'm kind of wondering how important getting the social link up with that fox is. What? Oh, you're the transfer student, Bart. Bart. Oh, I must have made a mistake. This is your shoebox. Excuse me for writing this out to you out of the blue. I held my emotions back all this time because I didn't want to disrupt your studies, but I just had to tell you. I love you. <laughs> it's a very moving love note. However, it's actually addressed to someone else. Apparently the girl put this in the wrong shoebox. Perhaps she's the one who wrote the Emma request that the fox shoot you talk to her next time I see her. Interesting. social link started with Yukiko sodas. Nice. Yes. The most greedy soda buyer in the game. All your tap are belong to me. Hey, if it isn't that boy who gave me the leaves that one time. Thanks to you, I can play with my grandchildren. You really helped me out. Praise to the gods who brought the two of us together. I started maintaining the shrine again since it's not doing so good. I wanted to make it better, but I don't have the money. That's why I decided to put a relationship fortune box. Here is a little fun raid. Normally, we only put it out on special occasions like New Year's. This is for the gods. You get the fortunes from a shrine famous for its relationship fortunes, so they're bound to work. You should take one. I'm sure you'll get closer to whoever you're interested in. Ah, but we put the box away on rainy days, so be careful. Now, I gotta go play with my grandkids again. See ya. Need 
get as close to them as by drawing fortunes to by spending time with them. Question. If I draw a fortune, does it spend time, take up time, like in game time? Like, because it says I only do that whenever I don't have the option to actually spend time with them. But I'm wondering if, I mean, because it's just drawing a fortune. Could I do that and then go spend time with them as well? sodas that I haven't gotten. Drinks. Anyway, did, did you hear the question I had asked earlier? I was wondering if I draw, or you may not know, I don't know, it's maybe a golden thing. I don't remember if you had experience with golden or not, but if I draw one of these fortunes, is it gonna count as time? Like spent? Because it told me to use one when I don't have the option to spend time with that person. So I'm kind of trying to figure that out. That's the other thing. I think there are new, some new books for sale. Just to know if I can run over here and like draw fortunes on people, spend a little yen, get the boost from that, however minor it might be. Then go back to school and then spend actual time with somebody that I really want to work on. Right So I could even open up that social link. Take, 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 take
I should get? Yeah, it was definitely at the Kanishi Wicker store. That side quest. Although they're not gonna I mean I'm not old enough, they're not gonna sell me anything at the Canadian liquor store. than just increasing the number of traffic accidents. That's what the news is saying. But there's more to the problem than just the fog. What am I supposed to do? At the Kanishi liquor store. Get that dude his booze. Sorry, I'm jumping around crazy like this. I'm gonna give the. Hey, ape fruit, how are you doing? Not necessarily a problem. I'm just curious that if I draw, like I can spend 200 yen and draw relationship fortunes that will give me very, very minor increases in my relationships with people, possibly. They told me I should do that when they're not available to do social things with. Um, I was wondering if when I draw one, is that gonna spend time so then I can't go back to school and then spend the day working on somebody else's relationship thing? Or should I be able to come out here and spend 200 yen every single day and draw something? Yes, it's going to spend up time, or yes, I can do it to my heart's content without spending time. <laughs> Capital G. Lowercase I, T, T, uh, hey, Thanks for the follow, Ghost Cubby. Definitely appreciate it. You can do it at night. But I'm guessing if I do it at night, then I can't do things like study and read books. So it is going to spend up time, I guess. If that's the case, I'm not going to draw. Capital D. Lowercase I, D, T, E, R, Thank you for the follow as well. came over from CLZ's channel, Cubby. I definitely appreciate you coming, stopping by and checking out my channel. And hope to see you some more in the future. Yes, yeah, so for some reason I was thinking you had followed me a while back, Emu. I know I've seen you multiple times in here when I've been playing Persona. 
but oh well. Anyway, this is good to have you as a follower now. <laughs> Being the case with taking those things and spending time up, I'm going to go back to school. Who do I want to spend time with today? Do I want to spend time with Yosuke? Do I want to spend time with Chie? Go play soccer? Do drama class? Yeah, I'm definitely pumped up for P5. Everything that I've seen on it looks pretty amazing. You want me to do Chie? Okay, I'll do I'll do Chie. Steak. <laughs> wait, where'd she go? Or wait, no, she's she's on the roof. She's on the roof. Are they not releasing it on PS3 as well? I mean, I have a PS4, so it's not going to be an issue for me. But... Yeah, it is very glorious. <clears throat> Alright, before I start this social link, I'm going to take a brief break. I'm going to refill in some water. i got to do some nasal spray stuff because of my sinus surgery I had earlier this week and I hear my dog crying at the back door I think he wants to go outside and probably turn around and cry at the back door to come back inside um, but give me about five minutes I'll be right back Thank you. 
Okay. What are we gonna do? We're gonna. He does look like Harry Potter. Wow. <laughs> what have you missed? Celestia, you hadn't missed much. I took midterms. And, uh... I think I did good on them. I don't know yet. We're about to go spend the day with Chie. Work on that social link. soon. You're back. I went shopping today. The fridge is full of food. Oh. Hey, can I have a word with you? you go to Junes a lot? Yeah, very often. Yes, Adachi keeps vanishing every now and again. I figure he's probably slacking off around Juness whenever he does. If you see him hanging around when you're at Juness, he's probably goofing around. So if you see Adachi at Juness, tell him off for me, okay? You remember that you've seen Adachi in the food court before. Next time you go to Juness, you should be on the lookout for Adachi. Show. There's a variety of food inside. You can make lunch for them all. Huh. I'm not messed with that option. Hey! Bart, how's it going? Oh, uh. Maybe that wasn't the right line. Tajima's struggling to find the right words. Again. I don't consider myself an old man yet, but when it comes to high schoolers, I don't know what to talk about. Can't communicate well with Dojima. If your expression was at the level of eloquence, you'd be able to carry on a conversation. I think I need to spend more time in drama class. Hey! So I can't even do that social link because I. He's not gonna let me go out. I know that. I guess we'll go reading. Chie, do you have any plans for tomorrow? Why don't we go into the TV? You know, training? 
I've thought about it. I don't. I don't know if I'm gonna. I don't think I am. No, still nothing to put on the shelf. I ain't studying. I just took finals or midterms. Bully teacher following on reading may increase understanding. Increase. Diligent when making envelopes. I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna go get the envelope making job. So I'm not sure if I want. I mean, I'm assuming it's just gonna increase diligence in general in the making them. Yeah. I guess we're going to read the off today. You begin reading off today. The story is about a weak-willed milquetoast of a teacher who has a hard time getting his students to learn. The book begins with a story in which the teacher's outfit, outlook on life changes from I give up to I can do this. You are filled with tender feelings. <laughs> tender feelings. There's still some pages of today left. Of off today left. You decide to save them to read next time. Mistakenly put a love letter inside your shoebox. Did, did you read my letter? Right. How could you, you jerk? Didn't even have the courage to sign it, and yet a totally random person knows my secret. Uh, what's the point of trying to be secretive anymore? It is really good music, Celestial. I'm already embarrassed myself this much. Might as well go confess. How do you like that? female student ran off. Maybe I should ask her how her confession went. Crap. Did I just mess that up? I just messed that up, didn't I? Crap. No. It's very different than most video game or RPG music. But... I like it almost as much as I like the music for Chrono Trigger. this afternoon. Oh, 
Chie wanted to go into the TV, but oh, what do you want today, bug catching boy? Orange smash. I don't think I've got orange smash. Oh, it's the one other drink they sell in the tap cola machine. That's what it is. And I've not been buying it because it's not as good as tap. Frick. Hey, welcome back, sweetie pie. Oh, you, Adachi, what are you doing? Oh. What's the matter? Can I help you? What are you doing? This sucks. What's it look like? I'm working. It's easy to investigate here with all the people around. It's cool in the summer and warm in the winter. It's a pretty good place Oops. to... Yeah, I think I've said enough. Hmm. Do I do Jojima's bidding? You want me to hang out with Adachi? I'll try. I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, that's a little strange. What are you doing here? Killing time? Tough to do out here in the sticks, isn't it? There's nothing here. Not like the city at all. It's not so bad. Oh, yeah? Oh, but you're from the city too, right? I'll find out soon enough. This town really is dead. <sighs> Get this, my first assignment here was tracking down a cat. My suit got so dirty, and they wouldn't let me expense the dry cleaning bill. Next, I played peacemaker in a spat some married couple was having. Can't believe they've got the police doing that stuff. Dashi seems unsatisfied with country life. But it's been more dangerous lately, so I can't kick back. There's that one case, you know. Still not solved yet. The higher-ups don't know what to do. They keep changing procedure on the fly. Sorry! Oops. Hope I'm not making you nervous. You guys have nothing to worry about, you know? Us police are on the job. Since that Adachi cares for me. Opening up a social link with Adachi. Okay. Looks like a jester on the card. <laughs> jester Arcana, okay. That works. Tohuru Adachi. Well, you know. 
Well, time for me to get back to work. What the hell? Phew, that was close. Tachi doesn't want to doesn't seem to want to be seen by that old woman. See ya. Better go. You hurry on home too. Don't tell Jujima san I was in Juness, okay? <laughs> the Jujima san already knows. He already knows. He watched the Dachi go back to work, then went home. Young men recklessly riding their motorcycles, disturbing the peace of a quiet rural town. Our special report took a turn for the violent when one of the apparent leaders attacked the camera crew. Damn, the, the hell motorcycle are you punks doing here? I can look at him and already and tell he's a playable character. Or he's going to be important to the story. The young delinquent. That voice. This ain't a show! Get bent! Still up to the same old tricks. Do you know him, Dad? Uh, well, I know him through work. Name's Kanji? Uh, apparently you like Kanji. Characters like that always tend to be pretty cool characters, though. His name's Kanji Tatsumi. He's quite a handful. He's been crushing biker gangs in the area since middle school. Oh, he's the legendary... The legendary... Middle schooler. <laughs> Get bent, baby. But I thought he'd gone into a <laughs> high school and started attending class. Huh. Man, that blur sure is pointless. It's completely obvious who it is. The guy's family runs a historic textile shop. I think what happened was he crushed the local bikers all by himself because the noise kept his mother up at night. It's a nice gesture, but he's way too violent. At this rate, his mother will have to apologize again. <laughs> oh, the weather report's showing on the bottom. It's going to rain tomorrow. I'll make sure to hang the laundry inside the house. Whoa. Whoa, it started oh. raining. I don't need to read I guess that. the weather report was right. <laughs> yeah, the character said that, that Celeste. The show's probably going to be on tonight. <laughs> I hope we don't see anyone. Yeah, that'd be best. But if we do, maybe we'll see some kind of clue that can point us toward the killer. Well, everyone. Don't forget to check your TV tonight. Got it? I don't know what I'm going to see in the channel, but I'm looking forward to it. <clears throat> oh, welcome home, big bro. <laughs> Biker gangs. Those words sound kind of cool together. <laughs> Nanako. You goofy, Nanako. You goofy. Dang, I should have made dinner. For lunch. When it gave me the opportunity yesterday evening. Man, I had nothing else to do, so let's do it. This this should be interdasting. to be a man. 
It looks like a high schooler. The image is unfocused and it's hard to tell who it is. Did you try calling Yosuke? Yeah. Oh, it's you. I was just about to call your cell. So what do you think? That was a guy, wasn't it? I wish I could tell what he looked like. Let's get together and talk more about it tomorrow. Why didn't I get to see some crazy like thing like what happened to Yukiko? Instead of just saw the figure. I guess it started that way with Yukiko too though. She hadn't actually gone missing into the TV. <clears throat> we will now hold a meeting on our investigation of the serial kidnapping slash murder case here in Inaba. Dude, take a breath. <laughs> oh, then does that make this place our special headquarters? Yes, exactly. Nicely put, Yukiko. Special headquarters? Hmm. That does have a nice ring to it. Anyways, as for what was on last night... I know he watched last night. Who was that? I saw it too! I couldn't get a good view of the person's face, but it was a guy, wasn't it? I told everyone I saw someone who looked like a high schooler. So that's how I looked on TV. Hmm. Wait a moment. Didn't all the victims have one thing in common? That they were females with ties to the first incident? That's what we thought. But we still don't know who exactly we saw. In my case, the image on the Midnight Channel changed after I was kidnapped, right? Yeah, the screen got clear all of a sudden, and the program looked like some low-budget TV show. Come to think of it, maybe Teddy was right. Maybe we were seeing the other Yukiko from that world. But last night, we couldn't clearly see whoever it was. Could that mean... he isn't inside the TV yet? That's what I think it means, because we saw Yukiko's form the first time, and then we called her the next day when she was at school, and she answered at the end. If so, then... It's projecting the future. Uh-huh. I think that's safe to assume. If we can figure out who he is, can we prevent him from being taken? Yeah. And if all goes well, we might catch the killer in the bargain. do that, we need to know who the latest Midnight Channel star is. I hate to say it, but I guess we'll have to wait another night and see what happens. <clears throat> well, that means if my deductions are correct, though the image was hard to make out and we can't say for sure who it was, it was definitely a young male. But if that's the case, it goes entirely against our prior assumptions. That may be so, but it's Since okay. Since we cannot identify the person at this time, we have no choice but to wait and see what happens. That's exactly what we just said. Shut up! <laughs> 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 She's kind of manic. <laughs> oh no! She just has these laughing fits. <laughs> and I'm not sure what to what to think about him. <laughs> not again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is how Yukiko really is, huh? Who'd have thought? By the way, about that guy we saw. Get the feeling I've seen him before. 
pretty recently, too. Oh, you too? Yeah, I've been thinking the same thing since last night. Well, let's check the TV again tonight and think about it more tomorrow. Welcome back. It's a bad influence on Nanako. What is? <laughs> oh, the bad, the biker gangs. Focused. I feel like you've seen him before, and he looks like he's fighting. That's got it's got to be Kanji. The only one person that would make sense. Did you see that? Might be Kanji Tasumi. Yeah, I think so too. I knew I saw him somewhere. It was on TV. He was on that special news report. He's one scary dude. He was even yelling at the camera to get bent. All right, so we finally have a lead. Let's all get together tomorrow, okay? Hey, skunky farts. <laughs> you watching on your Nexus 5? Is that working well? Oh, I almost forgot. It's kind of off subject, but as long as you're on the line, mind if I ask something? It's something I've been meaning to ask for a while. So... What do you think about Yukiko and Chie? I mean, let's not mince words. Which one's your type? Um... I could be that greedy guy. Both. Originally, I was said I was going to try to waifu Yukiko, but apparently I can wife them all. Hell yeah. It's good, good to hear that it's working well for you. Chie seems to be everybody's girl. <laughs> And see, I also feel like if I tell him, he's gonna like run his stupid mouth. I don't, know, I don't, I don't know how this is gonna go. Yukiko said who I said I was gonna go after initially. Is neither for you, Emu? <sighs> Celestial could definitely be taken as naughty. Um, <laughs> it's just, it could also be taken as painful. I'm going with Yukiko. She was like that. My image of her has changed completely, but I like her way better now. 
Hey, but don't worry. This is just between you and me. Okay, see you tomorrow. Pick Yosuke as my hubby? Ah, you know, I don't think I want a, a husband in the game. I think that's, um... Something I could do with that. The one who was on last night. It's that guy, right? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And now I'm gonna, you've told me that I'm gonna hang up on you and I'm gonna go tell Yukiko right now. Kanji Tatsumi, huh? He definitely didn't look like the social type. Now there is an understatement. Isn't he really scary? Did you see the new special the other day? Yeah, I saw it. You mean the special on biker gangs? I watched it too. It wasn't like that when he was younger, though. You know him, Yukiko? Uh huh. But we haven't talked to each other in a long time. <laughs> Pound get bit. His family runs a textile shop, and we've been a customer of theirs for many years. So I speak with Kanji-kun's mother from time to time. Oh, why don't we go there now? We might be able to talk to him in person. Sounds good. At the very least, we can ask if anything strange has come up lately. I wouldn't want to run into him in a dark alley, but I'm pretty sure he won't fly off the handle at his family's store. All right, then let's get going. If things get rough, we're counting on you guys. Y'all get no breaks and no lunches? Is that even legal, Skunky? Chan, it's so nice to see you. Well then, if you'll excuse me, ma'am. He seems like he's going to be another important character. I'm sorry that I couldn't help more. It's all right. You've given me plenty to think about. Thank you. What's up with him, weirdo? Got paid on the spot, well, that's good at least. Uh -huh. never seen him before. Yeah, give me just a second, my dogs are freaking out. They will not quit barking. I need to make sure they don't have an animal trapped in the backyard. That always turns out bad.
Yuki-chan. You're as lovely as always. Your features are starting to remind me of your mother when she was young. How can I help you today? Are you out shopping with your friends? Oh, um, well, actually... A scarf. I've seen this somewhere before. Huh? Oh, you're right. Where was that? Oh, it was that place inside the TV! That's right. That room with those faceless posters. Then it's that announcer's. Are you acquaintances of Miss Yamano? Uh, well, kinda. Um, did Miss Yamano happen to have a scarf like this? Yes. It was a special order she placed. She actually ordered a pair, but in the end, she said she only wanted the women's scarf. It left us with no choice but to sell this one separately. There is a connection to the first case. What are we gonna do? How should I know? Hello? Delivery here for the Tatsumis. Oh, I'll be right there. I'm sorry. You'll have to excuse me. Oh, it's okay. We should get going. I'll come again, ma'am. Is that so? Well then, please say hello to your mother for me. It really is connected to the first case after all. But it's just a scarf. Would the killer target someone just because of that? Damn it, what's going on? Come on, let's talk outside. What? Quick, hide! You're not fooling anyone, you know. Shh, I can't hear what they're saying! T tomorrow's fine with me. Huh? S school? Uh, of course I'm going to school. Then I'll meet you at the gates after school tomorrow. Did he... did he say he was interested? He's a guy. And I'm a guy, but... He's interested in me? Huh? What the hell are you pricks looking at? It is off. It was off. I muted it when I went to go check on the dogs and make sure they didn't have an animal captured. <laughs> Not bad. Uh, thanks for mentioning that because I probably would have kept going for a while before I noticed <clears throat> uh, so these two dudes are kinda checking each other out or something that was kinda weird TV last night was definitely Kanjikun. Yeah, and I just realized something. Remember the common points we were talking about? His mom fits the pattern. She's a woman, and she knew Ms. Yamano. But it was her son who appeared on TV. So what does that mean?
I'm thinking because he's the one that appeared on TV, he's the target. Yeah, that's what it seemed like based on the TV image. But his mother fits the pattern more than he does. Yeah, this is not, this is not your bad, Celestial. I gotta keep up with what, what I've got muted and not muted. <laughs> I didn't really need to mute it to go check on the dogs anyway. I just do that out of habit when I get up. And then I forget to unmute it when I sit back down. Oh, maybe it's similar to my case. If you think about it, my mother fit the victim profile more than I did. She was the one who dealt directly with Miss Yamano, but I was the one who was targeted. Does that mean it'll be the kid again instead of the mother? But if that's true, then the killer's motive makes no sense at all. It'd have nothing to do with silencing witnesses or revenge or anything. And it may not. The killer may have a completely different motive that we haven't thought of yet. You think we're on the wrong track? Maybe even the first case had nothing to do with grudges or revenge. Or is there some kind of secret in the textile shop itself? I'm totally lost. But we can't ignore this. Hmm. Why don't we just go ahead and ask Kanji himself? We could at least see if anything odd's happened lately. He scares the wits out of me, but... Wasn't Kanji making plans with that weird kid a moment ago? Something about meeting up at school? I heard he's been skipping school ever since the new year started. Doesn't that seem a little suspicious? Yes, yes, she does. Yeah, something did seem weird. It's suspicious, all right. There's something funny going on here. I can sense it. Sense? You sound like Teddy. Still, we might find some clues. All right, let's try staking out both Kanji and his family's store. We definitely don't want the killer getting ahead of us. That being said, Yukiko, can I have your cell number? Hey, was this your plan all along? Uh, no, <laughs> I got everybody's phone number except for hers. And the Y section of my address book needs some filling out. <laughs> While we're on the subject, could you stop calling me at night just to tell dirty jokes? Oh, Lord. You really sound like a pervert. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to have a conversation with Yukiko here. Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. I need to buy tofu on my way home. Oh, she didn't hear a word I said. Okay, then. The stakeout is set for tomorrow. Hmm. Stakeouts? Tailing people? Starting to sound like real detectives. <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps. Yeah, Yosuke's trying to make a play for my girl, and... I've been sticking up for him, because everybody's been mean to him this entire time. But I might have to elbow him in the nose.